Hello everyone, I'm CBS 11 Chief Meteorologist Larry Mowry. I had someone on my Facebook page, in fact it was Terry Doyle who Facebooked me a question about the EF scale versus the F scale. And what we have now is a scale that that ranks the severity and the intensity of tornadoes. It's called the Fujita scale. But now we use what we call the enhanced Fujita scale, the EF scale. And I want to show you that the Fujita scale is named after a famous scientist, Dr. Fujita, who was at the University of Chicago when he did most of his research. He studied tornadoes and in particular he studied uh, what happened after the tornadoes. He went out and took thousands of pictures of tornado damage and he was able to create a scale that ranks the, the strength of tornadoes by looking at the damage that they do. It's called the Fujita scale. Now the old Fujita scale is on the left hand side. We call it the F scale. It went from F0 to F5 and you can see the corresponding winds to each uh, category. The enhanced Fujita scale just in, came into place in the past several years and you can see how the wind speeds have changed compared to the old Fujita scale. The new enhanced Fujita scale is what will be used from here on out out to to give a, a rating to a tornado and again this is all done by looking at the damage that a tornado creates so for instance 200 mile per hour winds that does significant damage to a home and I want to show you how the uh, the scientist and, and the meteorologist uh, and, and myself when we have tornadoes and you go out and assess the damage these are some of the things you look for first off let me start with an EF0 tornado that's where the winds are at 65 to 85 miles per hour in a tornado that week you would see shingle damage to your roof some tree limbs down but otherwise the the integrity of your house would still be pretty much in, in good shape now an EF1 tornado could rip off part of your roof and you can see part of the roof exposed here and compromise your garage door. As we go up to an EF2 rating where the winds are between 111 and 135 miles per hour, the majority of your roof would be destroyed or taken off of your home if you're a one-story home or a two-story home. An EF3 tornado, the damage would be quite extensive. You would lose the, uh, the entirety of your roof you may lose part of the second story and the exterior walls might be gone as well. That would be with winds between 136 and 165. An EF4 tornado, the winds get up to 166 to 200 miles per hour. And again, this is a wind estimate based off the damage done, but uh, the majority of your house would be uh, destroyed with just the debris laying on top of the slab. Now an EF5 tornado, like some of the ones we saw up there in Oklahoma, all that would be left is basically a slab of concrete. Those are obviously the most devastating tornadoes and wind estimates are above 200 miles per hour. That's just the scale we use and again it's based off the damage that a tornado creates. And so when you look at this F scale or EF scale, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the strength of a tornado is we look at the damage it, it, it did to give it a rating for a wind speed. So I hope that answers some of the questions about the Fuji scale. Again, the enhanced Fujita scale is what we will be using from here on out as it's been updated from the previous Fujita scale. Thanks for uh, checking in with us here on CBSDFW.com. I'll be answering questions here on our website as we go through the summer months, so please ask me a question on Twitter at CBS11Larry or my Facebook page at CBS11Weather.